This video is going to explain how you can use an aggregate supply and aggregate demand model to show the relationship between the marginal propensity to consume and the multiplier effect. If you're not sure about how the marginal propensity of consume will affect the level of aggregate demand, you should watch the video on the marginal propensity to consume. But basically, if we have a greater MPC, it will lead to a steeper aggregate demand curve. So from AD1 to AD2. The difference between AD1 and AD2 is a higher marginal propensity to consume. And that just means that for every dollar of income households are receiving, they're spending more of that dollar. We can see that just increasing the marginal propensity to consume on its own leads to an increase in the level of aggregate demand and the level of national income. But in this video we're going to specifically look at how an increase in the marginal propensity to consume will lead to an increase in the multiplier effect. We're going to start with two relatively flat aggregate demand curves and they're flat because there is a low level of MPC a low marginal propensity to consume. There's been an increase in aggregate demand from AD1 to AD2 and that's led to an increase in national income from NY1 to NY2. There is a video called the multiplier effect which explains this next step but basically the level of aggregate demand has, uh, has increased by this much here and the level of national income has increased by a greater amount than just the level of aggregate demand and that's because we have a multiplier effect. So the increase in AD uh, is by this amount here and the increase in national income is by this larger amount here. What we're going to do now is to put in two steeper aggregate demand curves. They're going to increase by the same amount so we're going to start them at the same starting point We'll start with a new aggregate demand curve, which we'll draw to here, and it's much steeper than the first one. And then we'll put another one, so we've increased aggregate demand by the same amount. So we'll start at the same, same place as AD2, and we'll make the slope the same as that new aggregate demand curve. So what we have now is four aggregate demand curves. The two red aggregate demand curves are relatively flat because of the low MPC. With a, a larger MPC, a higher amount of consumption for every dollar of income that is earned, we get a steeper aggregate demand curve. So we've gone from the red demand curves to the blue demand curves by having a greater level of marginal propensity to consume. So the original increase in national income was from NY1 to NY2 and is by that distance from NY1 to NY2. The new level of aggregate demand uh, due to the increased level of MPC has led to an increase in national income of this amount here which is greater than from NY1 to NY2. So by having a steeper aggregate demand curve caused by a larger marginal propensity to consume we get a greater multiplier effect uh, and so from the same increase in aggregate demand we get a larger increase in national income. To show the effect more obviously and a little bit more clearly I've increased the slope of the aggregate demand curves uh, by having a much larger MPC, marginal propensity to consume and I've made it so the original aggregate demand line runs through the, uh, the, the original NY2. So now the economy which had the red aggregate demand lines it had an increase in national income from NY1 to NY2. The other economy with the blue aggregate demand lines caused by the greater marginal propensity to consume they, their original uh, national income level is NY2 but they increase from NY2 to NY3 and again we can note that from the starting points here and here of those curves the increase in aggregate demand is the same in both cases so this could be for example an expansionary fiscal policy the government has injected this amount of money into the economy through their fiscal policy but the economy with a greater multiplier 
has a greater effect on the level of national income, and that is because they have a greater multiplier. And to take it a step further, they have a greater multiplier because they have a larger marginal propensity to consume.